student. I am Jay Jay Lakshmi of uh, Commerce uh, Department. We are we are from Henry Education School. Uh, let us learn uh, accountancy first chapter. Okay, uh, first one standard. Okay, chapter uh, one accounts from incomplete records. Okay, accounts from incomplete records. Uh, let us firstly know about the accounts. What uh, what do you mean by accounts? Uh, for this incomplete records, what we needed, okay? So here accounts means we have single entry system, single entry system and double entry system. Here in the double entry system, uh, we have to uh, we have the debit and credit aspect. Debit and credit aspect uh, equally. We have uh, we have to use both debit and credit, uh, okay? Here. Uh, this uh, double entry systems are used to buy. For example, we can tell companies and firms they are using the double entry system. Here, single entry system, uh, it may use by or credit uh, alone. It may be credit or debit. Uh, it can be, we can uh, say example, single entry systems are uh, followed by partnerships and sole traders. Okay. So as per their wishes, they can do anything. They can uh, have the uh, records of uh, accounting, uh, whether debit or credit. Okay. Now let us learn what is the meaning of incomplete records. Incomplete records. In the word itself, we can identify the uh, concept. Incomplete means what? Not fully completed. Not fully completed. So here we can take first point as accounts records are not strictly followed by as double entry system. As double entry system. Uh, next we can use here cash and personal accounts are maintained. Because it is the uh, partnership and so on of what they will do. They invest capital, cash into the business and it is used for personal. For their purpose, they are doing the business. So, they use cash and personal account. It is maintained by them fully. Okay. So, third point. It is an increase in capital it result to profit. A decrease in capital result to loss. Increase in capital result to profit. And decrease in capital result in loss. Okay. For example, we can consider expenses trade. What is this? Closing capital means every year ended we will be having 
initial amount. So that one uh, amount is called as capital account. Next one drawings. It may be used for himself or the business. We are taking drawings. So uh, we have to consider this one. Then additional capital. Actually, what is the meaning of additional capital? Additional capital for the development of the business. Here we are using uh, uh, cash amount for that. So that must be taken into account. Next one, opening capital. Opening capital means before be beginning the business, we will be investing some amount of uh, cash. So that must be uh, known to us. By uh, having this aspect only, we can uh, have the profit and loss account. The business is earning profit or loss, we can calculate. We are going to learn about uh, how it is uh, calculated, statement of profit and loss account. We have one format. Next, we are going to see the format. Okay, now we are going to see the first stage. Okay, yeah. so we are uh, uh, going to uh, learn the format first. Statement of profit and loss for the year end. Okay, yeah. uh, this uh, statement uh, should be prepared. So we are having the uh, format uh, particulars and amount. Particulars, what are the matters we are going to write here? The amount, nothing but uh, nothing but the uh, rupees amount we are going to write here. So here first we have to take the capital at the end of the year. So that amount should be here, noted here. Second thing, we have to add, add the drawings. So we will be getting uh, one amount. Then next we are here, we have to list the cap, additional capital introduced in the year, during the year. Additional capital, nothing but we have already discussed uh, for the um, growth of the concern, business concern, we are investing further amount. So that amount should be uh, deducted. By uh, deducting additional capital introduced during the year, we are getting the adjusted closing capital. Then we are using, next, uh, next we are going to minus opening balance. Opening balance means the initial amount what we invest in the business. Firstly, so that must be taken. Uh, by adding and uh, lessing the additional capital and opening capital, we get profit or loss for the year. Okay, so suppose we are, we are having profit means how you will be calculating profit, the adjusted closing capital will be a higher amount. It will be, the opening capital will be less amount. So that we can have the profit. Suppose open, open capital is a heavy amount, heavy amount means we will be definitely incurring loss. Okay, illustration one, we are going to learn illustration one. Uh, it is given page number six. Uh, from the following particulars, ascertain profit and loss amount. Here, we are, like, what the instruction given, we have to prepare, calculate profit and loss account. Okay. Here, uh, some transactions are given, we will uh, take into account. Uh, first, they are given capital at the beginning of the year. Capital at the beginning of, beginning of the year. First April 2016 uh, given, uh, we are having amount uh, to, uh, 2 lakh. Then, capital at the end of the year, that first. March 2017, uh, 3,50,000. Next one, additional capital introduced during the year, 70,000. Drawings during the year, 40,000. So, we are, uh, by this uh, instruction, we are going to prepare profit and loss account. Okay, now, uh, by the information, we are going to see the illustration 1, page, uh, page number 6. First, we have to write the uh, statement of uh, profit for the year end, we have to write. Okay, so statement of profit and loss for the year ended. Here we have the uh, information. Every year ended only we have to calculate. So we are having the 31st March 2017. Okay, then now we have to write the particulars, amount and we have to write the uh, format first. First we have to write closing capital as on 31-3-2017. As per the uh, instruction we have 3,50,000. 350,000 is given in the illustration uh, questions. So next we are uh, taking in account adding the drawings. Adding the drawings. So we get the, uh, here we are writing 40,000. Then we get 390,000. Then we are going to list the additional capital. Additional capital nothing but we are introducing. So we have to list 70,000 we are getting 320,000. This, uh, this amount is here. Adjusted closing capital. Adjusted closing capital. From the adjusted closing capital, we have to list the opening capital. Opening capital, what is the amount given? Here, 2 lakh given. So, we are uh, deducting the 
lakh one lakh twenty thousand. This is the profit made by the during the year. Profit made during the year. Okay. Okay. By this aspect, we are uh, having the sum exercise uh, one to five. The same model. It may be asked. Uh, suppose calculate drawings. Then we have to follow the same procedure. Then they may ask to find the actual capital or opening capital or closing capital. So uh, the format is uh, same concept. You can use for uh, exercise sum one to five. Double entry system and incomplete records. We are going to uh, learn. Okay. First, uh, first thing, recording of transaction. Recording of transaction in double entry system. What we are going to do? Uh, do both the aspect of debit and credit we are uh, recording. Both the debit or credit we are recording. Here, uh, it is com uh, not completely recording debit or credit. Okay. Uh, where in incomplete records. Second one, types of account. Okay, we in double entry system. Personal, real, and nominal accounts are maintained. Here, only personal and cash accounts are maintained. Third one, trial trial balance. Uh, to uh, know the accurate or uh, uh, automatic uh, entry we are checking here, we cannot check in the incomplete records. Uh, next one, we are going to see the suitability. Suitability is nothing but uh, it is asked for all types of organization. Here, only sole traders and the partnership can use. Fifth one, reliability. Reliability is nothing but the trust. We can uh, accept the concept of double entry system. We can have the aspect of willingness. It is a reality. Here it is not real. Okay, here now we are going to see the formula of statement of affairs. Okay, uh, first of all we have to know the statement of affairs. Why we are having this formula? To find out the capital unit we are going to uh, use this formula. Okay, so here nothing but liability appears in the uh, left side and asset appears in the right side. Okay, so now we are what are the assets? First of all we have to use the title in the book of. Uh, suppose we may write any person name. Uh, it will be male or female. Okay, and then statement of affairs as on the particular date. Uh, what uh, what the year they have asked we have to prepare. So uh, in the book of uh, and the statement of affairs we should uh, must have the title. Then we are having the liabilities and assets. Okay, so the liability side, what what are the aspect we are having is uh, salary, credit plus bills payable, outstanding expenses, bank overdraft, then cash in hand, cash at bank, uh, salary debt plus bills receivable, stock in trade, uh, prepaid expenses, fixed asset. So uh, by adding this all aspect, the balancing amount, uh, nothing but here some uh, uh, lower amount will be there. So that amount is. Uh, Detected and the balancing amount is appeared in the capital. Uh, capital nothing but it is a balancing figure. Okay, now we are uh, going to see the illustration six. Okay, from the uh, following uh, following are the balance of uh, Shanti as of 31st December 2018. And the particulars are given: bills receivable 6,000, bills payable 4,000, missionary 60,000, furniture 10,000. Salary debt plus 50,000, staff 40,000, debt plus 70,000, cash 4,000. Uh, we have to, uh, they are asked uh, to prepare a statement of August 31st December 2018 and calculate the capital as on that date. As on that uh, date means we are going to calculate 31st December 2018. Okay, so now we are going to write, uh, uh, we, have, we have to uh, recall the uh, format, then we are going to use the solution. Uh, solution. Okay, first we have write in the books of Shanti. In the um, uh, book it is given the balance sheet of Shanti. So we are writing Shanti. And the statement of affairs, uh, it is uh, asked to prepare 31st December 2018. So we are writing the date 31st December 2018. Now we have to divide the uh, two column liability, liabilities and assets. Liabilities and assets. Okay, now in the book we are uh, having the instruction. Uh, salary credit as 25,000. So we have to take the amount and uh, write it here. Next one, bills payable is given. Uh, 4,000 is given. So we have to write here. Next one, cash. We are going to write 4,000. Staff 40,000. Debtor 70,000. Bills receivable 6,000. Missionary 60,000. Uh, furniture 10,000. 
So we have to detect from that. Uh, now we are having one lakh ninety five thousand. So we have to detect the twenty nine thousand. Twenty nine thousand. How we are going to detect one lakh ninety five thousand minus what we have to take the aspector. One is hundred dollars and bills uh, bills payable only. Here we are having the like this. So total we have twenty nine thousand. Twenty nine. So finally we got one lakh sixty six thousand. So that should be written here as a balancing figure. Okay, now we are going to see the uh, difference between uh, statement of affairs and the balance sheet. Okay, so statement of affairs uh, is fully uh, concept oriented. They are using incomplete records. Balance sheet we are using the double entry system. Okay, so now uh, we can use the Uh, basic of distinction. What is the main point here? The statement of affairs, uh, balance sheet. Now, main object is what is the object? Here we are uh, finding the uh, final capital of the business. Uh, what is the initial amount up to date? We are calculating here. Here we are uh, having the aspect of financial question. So your financial question means what? Whether the business concern is going on profit or loss, or they have to. Well, increase the uh, stamina of the business. Ah, that concept there again. Okay. Side so thing, the accounting system. What are the accounting system here followed? Here, uh, uh, they are not uh, following the double entry uh, system. Here, they are full and full. They are using the double entry system. Uh, they are one preparation. Here, uh, the statement of affairs is fully, not fully uh, based on ledger balance. That they are they were the basic. They are using full of ledger balance. Fourth one, reliability. Here uh, we cannot uh, assume, isn't it? Because it is not full and uh, correct because of the partial or fully omitted. They are having the not uh, reliable income record. Here they are having the reliable because they are using the double entry system. Fourth one, missing item. Here the statement of our affairs we cannot trace out the uh, difficult item, but easily we can trace out uh, in the balance sheet. That uh, omitted item can be easily traced out, so it is very helpful. Now you understand uh, what is the difference between statement of affairs and the balance sheet. Next, uh, we can follow the uh, illustration seventh. First uh, April two uh, thousand seventeen, Gandhi started his business with a capital of seventy five thousand. This is the initial amount how he invested. Okay, he did not maintain uh, proper book of account. Uh, he does not use proper uh, accounts means nothing but they didn't use the double entry system. Following and uh, particular sir, I will uh, from his book on that was three two thousand eighteen. Um, then we have the uh, seven particulars uh, cash, stock of goods, bills receivable, uh, furniture, land and building. Uh, then uh, this is the debtors sixteen thousand, creditors nine thousand, cash and bank twenty four thousand, bills payable. So during the year he withdraw fifteen thousand. This is nothing but the drawings. His first uh, personal use he introduced further capital. Further uh, capital is uh, nothing but actually capital twenty thousand during the year. Now they are asked uh, to calculate his profit. Okay. First of all we are uh, using the statement of affairs. Uh, by this we get the uh, capital of uh, his uh, concern business concern. Then only we are going to prepare. Uh, statement of profit and loss account for the year ended thirty first March two thousand eighteen. Okay, uh, let us now uh, write the uh, statement of affairs of who is uh, here Ganesh, uh, which person we are going to prepare Ganesh as on thirty first March two thousand eighteen. Now we are dividing two columns uh, liabilities and asset. Uh, simply we have to pick the uh, amount and we have to write here. Okay, pick the amount and write here. So here, uh, what is the creditor given uh, in the book? Uh, nine thousand uh, is given. Then bills payable is uh, six thousand given. Ne next, we can pass. Uh, the, what is the initial amount cash given? Five thousand. Next, uh, cash at bank twenty four thousand is given. We are writing uh, stock of goods eighteen thousand uh, writing. Then debt debt sixteen thousand. Bills receivable seven thousand. Land and building uh, ten thousand. Furniture uh, three lakhs. Here see cash means what? It is a source of assets. So we are writing in the assets here. Then cash and bank also it is our sources. Then stock of goods means if they will be in future they will be selling. So uh, uh, by this we can get profit. So it is a it is a source of assets.
deposit. Then debtors, uh, we, are, we are having the uh, amount we are here, uh, it will be used for further. Then bills receivables are from other person they will be uh, receiving. Land and building is nothing but the source of uh, business terms and assets. Um, then furniture, what are the furniture they have used for the business concern. By this we get 1,3,000. Uh, uh, here we get uh, how much, uh, nine, uh, only two items we are here, having here, only two items. Here, uh, 9,000 and 6,000. 9,000 and 6,000, we, uh, we get only 15,000. 15,000. So, what we have to do from 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh 3,000, we have to less. Which amount? The creditors and the bills pay. So, we have to uh, reduce. Then what we get? Only 88,000. So this has to be carried. Carried to where? As balancing figure. Balancing figure. So the uh, main motive of us to calculate the capital. Now it is over. Okay. Uh, capital are the uh, year ended. We get 88,000. We get 88,000. So, uh, two has said we have the equal. Next, we can prepare the uh, statement of profit and loss for the year ended. But that was March 2000. What's the format we are already discussed? Closing capital as on the, the year ended. Then we have to add drawings. Then less additional capital introduced. Then uh, the, by this we get adjusted closing capital. Then less we have to opening capital. Opening capital as on 14 2017. Then we get the uh, profit. Now we can uh, use this uh, amount. Okay, so closing capital as on the date, we are, uh, we are taking uh, from the statement of affairs, we are taking the capital. So that amount is written. Drawings in the question itself, they are given uh, withdrawing 15,000. For personal use, it is given. So that amount should be written here 15,000. Totally, we get 130,000. Then, less uh, capital is uh, in our uh, question, we have already, they are given. Uh, 20,000 is a capital unit, so we have to write that and we have to uh, get uh, deducted. Uh, then we get 83,000. Then we have in the uh, adjusting closing capital. Then we have to list the opening capital as on that day. Opening also given. So 75,000 we get uh, finally profit uh, made during the year, we get uh, 8,000. Uh, illustration 8, page number uh, 12. David does not uh, keep proper books of accounts following uh, the following details are given from his records. Here, listen here. Uh, previous setup we having uh, uh, closing uh, particulars for particular one year only. First, uh, but before here, but here uh, for the beginning and the ending they are given two columns. Beginning and the ending. Uh, beginning uh, in the April and ending in the March. Okay, so cash is given for 43,000 at the beginning. 1st April uh, 2018 and 31st March uh, 2019 is given separately. So for the beginning as well as the ending, they are given two colors. So cash 43,000, 29,000, stock of goods 120,000, 130,000, salary debtors 84,000, 120,000, salary creditors 105,000, 102,000, load 25,000. Uh, 20,000 business premises, uh, 250,000, 250,000. Furniture for the um, April they are having 33,000 and the March, the March 2019, 43,000. And some of the instruction is given, see here. During the year, he introduced further capital of rupees 43,000 and withdraw 2,500 per month from the uh, business uh, for his personal use. Prepare statement of profit and loss uh, with the above information. Listen here to this and that uh, we have um, the given amount, withdrawal amount, uh, suppose 30,000, 20,000 they are given. But here uh, 2,500 per month they are given. So what we have to do? 2,500 into 12 we have to multiply. Uh, it costs uh, 30,000. Now look at uh, here uh, two of the given, isn't it? The beginning and the ending. So we have here the calculation of two calculations we have to calculate opening uh, capital and the closing uh, capital for the calculation. After that only we have to prepare a statement of uh, affairs. Now look at here. Uh, book page number 11, uh, book page number 12, illustration 8. First we have to calculate the opening capital. 
uh, in the book of David uh, statement of Abhay Sassan, uh, 1st April uh, 2018 given. It is uh, calculated on the 1st April means nothing but the opening capital. So here we are uh, having the salary debtors and uh, loan amount. Salary of uh, debtors we are having 1 lakh 5,000, loan 25,000. Then we have to write asset side, cash 43,000, stock of goods 1 lakh 20,000, salary debtors 84,000. Business premises are 2 lakh 50,000, furniture 30,000. So totally we get 5 lakh 30,000. 5 lakh 30,000. From the 5 lakh 30,000, we have to list this uh, two items. What are they? Sanitary debtors and loan. So uh, the list means we get 4 lakh. Uh, then total we have the both side 5 lakh 30,000. Uh, this is the calculation of operating uh, capital. Nothing but in the given information, we have to uh, read out the format and write as it is. It is enough. So we can easily calculate. Second one, here we are going to calculate uh, calculation of uh, closing capital. Same as uh, the statement of Afghanistan. 31st March, uh, before we have uh, uh, calculated uh, 1st April here, 31st March 2019. So here also we are the same as which was uh, taking the um, March aspect uh, salary debtors, loan, here cash, stock of goods, salary debtors, business premises and furniture. So total we are getting 5,64,000. 5,64,000. From the 5,64,000 we have to deduct. 1,2,000 we deduct means we get 4,42,000. 4,42,000 we get then two sides we have the equal. Uh, by this uh, having the open capital and the closing capital we are now uh, preparing the statement of affairs for the year ended 31st March 2018. Now see here, particulars among we have already written. See closing capital as of 31st uh, 3, uh, 19. 19. See we have what, uh, what is the balance we figured here? We are having the 442,000. Then draw is, uh, draw is already I have informed you in the uh, question itself, in the book itself. They are given this sum only. 2,500 we are given. Uh, what has it there in uh, per month? So we are having the 12. For one year we have the 12 months. So 2,500 in 12 we are having 30,000. So that should be written here. That should be written here. So we have to add 4,42,000 and 30,000 to get 4,72,000. Now we have to take consider additional capital introduced during the year. Additional capital introduced during the year was 45,000. Additional capital introduced was 45,000. Then by this two we have adjusted closing capital. Now let's go for the capital as on 2018. 2018. As uh, opening uh, capital at first we have to find out now. So that uh, uh, figure should be taken for opening balance as on uh, 2018. So we uh, get 27,000 as a profit made, uh, made during the year. So nothing but what we are doing first, we are calculating the uh, opening capital, then side thing capital of closing capital. With this uh, two aspect, we are having the statement of uh, affairs. First, it is very essential, you should thorough off your format. Okay, in the uh, format of, uh, uh, before preparing this format, uh, first of all, we must uh, clearly note down three points. Okay, first one, we have to uh, take out the opening balance. Opening balance, why we see, uh, we, we have the uh, motive to have the uh, opening balance in the uh, debt safe, debit up. Okay. Next one, we have to uh, calculate the um, debt tax, uh, credit tax, bills payable, bills visible, etc. We have to calculate. And also most of the omitted item we don't know. First we have to find out that. For that it is very useful. So uh, now we are going to discuss the format. A total data summon here, particulars uh, amount, particular amount. First, we are having the debit side. Uh, debit side, uh, in the book, uh, uh, everything they will be given in the opening, opening balance. We should not directly initiate the uh, opening, opening, uh, opening as a cash we cannot record. So, it should be brought down to the debit side. So, it, uh, it is uh, written as a balance brought down. Then, sales, sir. what are the credit sales we have to take, how much they have uh, taken. Then to bank, how much uh, they have the uh, dishonor. Dishonor is what a cancellation of uh, uh, dishonor is in many, many types. 
so we have to consider the check dishonored then bills are dishonored bills are received that is dishonored that should be taken out how much actually should be taken out opening balance saves account we have to consider credit saves bank account we have to consider check dishonored bills received we have to consider bills are dishonored then credit side we have to check the cash account which amount we have received that should be noted here then bank account check received here check received and then by discount allowed how much we have allowed and then sales return account sales return account is our thing what we returned and then bad debt sir then bills received account bills received that should be taken by balance carried out the closing balance we will have so this is the amount of total debt us then we can go through the book number page number sixteen illustration ten we can have the readings see find out the credit sales from the following information we are given credit sales we have to find out so debt us on first January two thousand eighteen forty thousand they are given cash receipt from debt us one lakh given cash receipt from debt us means it should be written in the credit side. Discount allowed to five thousand. It should it should also be written in credit side. Sales return also to be written in the credit side. Uh, debtors on thirty first December two thousand eighteen. It is nothing but the balance carried out. It should so it should also be written in the credit side. Then uh, we are having uh, two balance. Uh, sorry, debtors on first January two thousand eighteen forty thousand. It should be written on debit side as. Two balance brought on forty thousand. From the figure, we have to calculate the sales account. Nothing but the credit. That is the balancing figure. See, uh, in the book we have given. First, we have to write uh, total debtors, debtor, creditor, and we have to divide into two particulars uh, in the amount column. Then we have to write two balance brought on. Nothing but what is this? Is opening balance. Opening. Opening balance uh, given in the book. So it is a forty thousand mentioned here. Then by cash account, it is received already mentioned in the book. So one lakh we have write by discount allowed of five thousand. By sales return two thousand. By balance carried out, it is nothing but the closing balance. Closing balance sixty thousand. Totally we have one lakh sixty thousand. From one lakh sixty thousand, we have to. Did I go how much? Forty thousand. Then how much we are getting? Uh, sales account one lakh twenty seven thousand. So it should be written as a balancing figure one lakh one lakh twenty seven thousand. So finally get the uh, thing. So uh, here what is the main motive is uh, the total data to find out the credit credit uh, sales account credit we are using this form. Good morning. Uh, from the following details, find out total sales made during the year. Uh, in this question, we have to first analyze what it is asked. And here uh, we uh, we can uh, discuss. Uh, they are asked to calculate total sales made during the year means complete year, complete one year. Okay. Uh, so here instructions are given. See, debtors on first April two thousand eighteen fifty thousand. Cash records from debtors during the year one lakh fifty thousand. Returns invert fifteen thousand. Balance five thousand. Debtors on tax March two thousand nineteen seventy thousand. Cash sales one lakh forty thousand. See here, uh, they are asked us to calculate total sales. Okay, yeah. Uh, but here given only cash sales. So what we have to do? We have to find out total sales. So if you want to calculate total uh, total sales. First of all, we have to find out credit sales. How we will getting by finding total debtors account by calculating total debtors account only we can um, get the uh, credit sales. Okay, now we can um, have the debtors account. Okay, total debtors account. Here see uh, particulars amount particulars. Amount. So we have uh, have the debit side and the credit side, debtors and the creditors. Okay. So right side we have the creditors and the left side we have the uh, creditors, debtors. Okay. So here debtors on first April. See here in your uh, questions you have 
debtors given first the beginning. So we have been writing two balance drawdown. So that amount is carried towards the total debtors account. So fifty thousand we are given. Okay. So then uh, next one we come to the credit side by cash. By cash in the sorry uh, questions how much it is given? One lakh fifty thousand. Then see sales return. Sales return means what? We have a uh, sales. In that the damaged product or anything else, they didn't want it. They return us. So that is return to us. So yeah, how much worth in us? Fifteen thousand. Then we have the bad debts. It may come or not. How much it is given bad debts in the question? Five thousand. Then we have the balance uh, uh, carried out. Balance carried out means nothing but the closing. Closing debtors. It is given on thirty first March two thousand eighteen. How much amount? Seventy thousand. So that amount is here written here. Okay. Now we have two side. The debit side and the credit side. We have the uh, adding. We get here two uh, lakh uh, forty thousand. Here only we get uh, how much? Only fifty thousand. But what we have to do? Two side we have to first to balance here. Then what we have to do? Two lakh forty thousand minus fifty thousand minus fifty thousand. We get one lakh ninety thousand. So this is the credit sales. Credit sales. The bad. This is the balancing figure that we call as credit sales. So now we want to calculate in the question what they asked to find out total sales. So total sales equal to what? Total sales equal to cash sales plus credit sales. Cash sales plus credit sales. Already we have given uh, in the question one lakh forty thousand as a cash sales. Then we have the uh, attain from where total debtors we get one lakh ninety thousand. So by this we add we get three lakh thirty thousand. Three lakh thirty thousand. Okay, from the following particulars, prepare uh, bills receivable account and complete the bill received from the debtors. Uh, now we are uh, learning illustration twelve. Okay, from the following particulars, prepare bills receivable account and complete bills received from the debtors. How much bills we are we are getting from the debtors? We have to calculate. Okay, so here particulars and amount is given. Opening bills receivable how much? Twenty thousand. Closing bills receivable thirty thousand. Cash received from bills receivable sixty thousand. Bills receivable dishonored five thousand. Dishonored is nothing but the cancellation of uh, bills. Okay, so now we are going to uh, have the answer key. Okay, bills receivable account. Okay, now here see book uh, book page number seventeen, illustration twelve. Bills receivable account we are going to calculate. Uh, we are in the debit side and the credit side. What we have to do? Uh, do Under the table, given the question, uh, opening balance, opening balance uh, of bills received, it is given. So we have to write two balance from. So that amount is carried a balance to here. So we have uh, write twenty thousand. Then uh, by cash, cash received from the bills received. So we are always writing in the credit side. Then by debtor account, debtor account is nothing but. This dishonored is already we are given, so that amount is written. Here we have written opening. The same aspect crosswise we have to write the closing balance. How we have to write by balance carry by balance carry out. So we have to write thirty thousand. Now we can have the uh, two side nine five thousand. Two side nine five thousand. So we can take uh, we can have the nine five thousand. Minus twenty thousand. How much we get? Seventy five thousand. So this bad, this amount is right written here. So that that this is the balancing figure bills received during the year. Bills received the during year. This main the motive is to calculate the debtors. How much we have to uh, pay for the uh, receive uh, during the year? How much we have received for the year? Format of bills receivable account. Okay, we are we are going to now learn about the bills receivable format account. So we have the debit side, credit side, particulars amount, particulars amount. Okay, uh, next we are going to write two balance drawdown. 
True balance, draw it out. It is nothing but the opening balance. Nothing but the opening balance. Then we are going to write to salary delta sub 1. It is nothing but the bills received uh, during the year. Then the print side we will writing out by cash or bank account. Uh, bills discharged uh, amount will be, will be writing by salary debt as account. Bills received discharged by balance carried out nothing but we will be writing out closing balance. So we have to use this uh, format while preparing bills receivable account. Okay, to, uh, next one we are going to see the features of incomplete records. Okay, under this head we have the uh, points, nature, types of accounts maintained, lack of uniformity, financial statement may not represent true and fair, uh, fair view, suitability, mixing up of personal and business transactions. Okay, under nature we are going to see how it is appear. How means here they will follow the accounting principles and st uh, standards. Because being they are the owners, being the, they are owners, they make the recording of a transaction according to their wishes. Then we can see the types of accounts maintained. Here, only cash and personal accounts are maintained. Because these two transactions are they are in uh, context. There is no real and normal accounts are maintained by them. Next one we can see lack of uniform, uniformity because they don't have the uniform among them because they are the different organizations and according to the needs and wants. Uh, this concept they have lack of uniformity. Next one financial statement may not represent true and fair view. Here the information because they are not following the uh, principles of accounting. They cannot have the uh, following of the W system. If they follow the W system, they can have the accurate records. Because of absence of this, they are getting the inaccurate records. They cannot lead to get the whether the concern is going uh, going to obtain profit or loss. Then they have the proper of um, assets and liabilities values which is increase or decrease they cannot tell accurately. Then suitability you can see there is no legal obligation because uh, the, the concern is small size and the, they are the sole trader and partnership of their funds. According to this they cannot have anything. There is no legal obligation. Next one you can see the mixing up of personal and business transaction. By this itself we can understand that they have no separation. Suppose they are the, uh, doing business, they take uh, something for their own purpose. So the business and the uh, lifestyle is uh, mingled with, uh, with them. They are earning money and they are also spending for their own purpose. So they cannot have the, they cannot have the accurate profit of earnings. Otherwise, they, they want to develop the uh, business. If they take the money, how they will be uh, calculating whether the uh, business is uh, good or bad? They cannot tell the profit and loss appropriately. <laughs> Illustration 30, book page number 80. From the following particulars, calculate total sales. What they have asked to calculate? Total sales. Okay. They are given particulars amount. Debt was on 1st April 2000. Okay, how much it is given? 1 lakh 50,000. 1 lakh 50,000. So, where we to be taken the debtors to the debtors account? To the total debtors account. Next one, a bill is receivable on April 2017. How much it is given? 40,000. So, where we, to, we have to take the bills receivable account? Cash received from debtors. Cash received from debtors. So, it also to be uh, written on debtors account. Then cash received for bills receivable. Cash received for bills receivable should be written in the bills receivable account. Bills dishonored. Bills dishonored. This also to be taken in the bills receivable account credit side. Then sales return. Sales return uh, given how much? 40,000. How much it is given? 
4000. So it is to be not up in the debtors, total debtors support. Then bills is to be not 31st March 2018, 30,000. So how much 30,000 is to be taken to uh, in the bills receivable on the, this is a closing. We have in opening, here we have the closing. Okay, so 30,000 you have to take. Then salary debtors, salary debtors on uh, 31st March is 1,30,000. So the, this is received by the debtors. Here we can have the debtors, salary debtors means we should uh, directly take to the total debtors account. Then what is, what is given? Cash is. Cash is how much to lend? So uh, from the following above points, uh, some of the instructions are given. Uh, first, uh, what they are asked to calculate total sales. Total sales, uh, but only they are given cash sales. So, total sales equal to cash sales plus credit sales. Here, see, cash sales only we have, where we have to plug we have. So, we have to find out credit sales. Okay, and for in order to calculate credit sales, we are preparing bills receivable account, then total debt as account. So, bills receivable account, two balance brought down. This is the opening balance. So, we are writing 40,000. Then, we are writing, uh, we have to recall our format, bills receivable account. So, what are answer? We have to take, uh, take down in the credit side, uh, cash, debt and buy balance capital, nothing but the closing balance. So, uh, directly uh, took from the uh, restriction sum, the transaction by cash, 90,000, by debt 10,000. By closing balance, we get 30,000. So, we have to get 1 lakh, 1 lakh 30,000. So, how, uh, how we are calculating? 1 lakh 30,000 minus 40,000. Minus 40,000, we get 90,000. So, this is the balancing figure of the debt card. Okay, next one we can have the total debt support. So, here, Two balance uh, calibre is nothing but the opening balance of debt debtors. So next time we are writing bills receivable account 10,000. Already this dishonor. Then uh, credit side uh, by cash. By cash uh, sales return and bills receivable uh, how much we have received 90,000. By balance carry down the nothing but the closing balance. So we have to write 1 lakh 30,000. Totally we get six, uh, two side. 50,000, which side is the uh, lesser debit side. So, we have to calculate from 6,50,000 minus 1,60,000. 1,60,000. So, how much we are getting? 4,90,000. So, this is the balance in figure. We get the credit sale. We get the credit sale. Now, we can write here 4 lakh. 90,000. So we can add it. If we add it, we get 6,90,000. So this is the total sales. This is the total sales. So in order to calculate total sales, what we are doing? First preparing the receivable account. From that we are getting the debt task. Then from the total debt task we are getting the sales. Okay, now we are going to see the total uh, credit task account. For this we have to prepare format. Okay, so now we are going to write format, we used to write debit and credit, heading total debt as account. Here, particular amount, particular amount we have to write. In the debit side, what of the things we are going to record is to cash account, to bank account, to bills payable, to this discount uh, receipts, to purchase return account, to balance carry down. Next side, we are going to write buy balance brought down, buy purchase account, buy bank account. By this payable account, then uh, totally we are going to balance uh, each side. Now, see here, to cash account, if we take the debit side, we uh, record the transaction to cash account. So, it must be taken as the which amount is paid to uh, it is, uh, it is to be con uh, taken uh, into the consideration. Then, uh, bank. So next one we are going to record banks and it. So we have to take the what are the checks it are paid. It is taken into the account. Next one to bills payable account is nothing but what are the bills accepted by us. Uh, then discount received, uh, received purchase return. We already know then we will be writing uh, if there is a balance uh, uh, closing balance means uh, we have to write uh, balance carried out. 
Next we come to the credit side. Buy balance is broadened as carried amount, nothing but the opening balance amount. Purchase, here we have taking only the credit purchase. Because total credit balance is related to it. So you have to calculate that one. Then buy bank. The debit side we take the accounts of check paid. To bank account buy, but in the credit side we are taking the only the check dishonored. So you should not confuse her. The next one we are taking the bills payable account which is dishonored. That is the, we are taking uh, the account. Now you can see that illustration 14 from the following details calculate the credit purchase. Because the business concern uh, cannot uh, have the all transaction cash. Because if uh, larger concern, the concern they are uh, taking the account. Only cash transaction means they cannot run the business. So every businessman they have the cash and credit. So now uh, from this illustration we are going to find out the credit purchase. Nothing but without giving money how much they have purchased. Okay. So particular is given credit uh, credit as on 1st April 2018 58,000. Returns out by 6,000. Cash paid to creditor. 1,60,000. Cash paid to creditors means what? We are having the credit purchases from them. For that purpose, we have given money in the form of cash. How much? 160000 Then creditors on 31st March 2019, 70000 Creditors on 31st March means nothing but the closing. Creditor on 1st April 2018 means nothing but the opening. Now we can have the total creditor support. First of all, we should recall the format. Then... Illustration 14, book, uh, book page number 19, total credit as account. So here, how much uh, uh, that uh, debit side, credit is particular amount, particular amount we have written. See here, this side, what are the cash amount paid, we have to take into two cash accounts. So how much? 1,60,000. 1,60,000. Then, how much they returned? Uh, to return outward, 6,000. True balance carried out is nothing but the amount taken from the sum, sum is 70,000. Then we come to the credit side, buy balance brought out. Buy balance brought out how much? Nothing but the credit as in the beginning. So we have taken here, then buy credit purchase account. That amount we should calculate, that amount we must calculate. From where, see the debit side we have 2 lakh. 2,36,000 only we have the opening balance so that is brought down only 50,000 so remaining how much you are getting 1,86,000 so this is the balance figure written on the credit side so we have 2,36,000 equally format of bills payable account why this account is prepared because we has to pay for others, which we which we we were up to pay. So we must know how much we are going to pay and how much amount it remains to us. So uh, in the debit side, credit side, the as usual we are going to take and the tied heading bills payable to cash or bank. We can take whether if they paid bills payable, we have to take consider next one to sundry creditors. We take only the dishonored bills payable. Next one, closing balance we are taking out, two balance carried out. Next one, buy balance brought down, we take, nah, we take only the opening balance by central creditors upon bills accepted. Then we tally each side. If you know the format only, we can do the sum. So please student, always don't forget the format. Now we are going to see the illustration, page number 20. From the following particulars, calculate total purchase. Calculate total purchase. Here, sundry credit of on 1st April 2017 is given 75,000. So, it is to be, where should be taken in the total credit of account, you have to take in the credit side. Next one, bills payable account on 1st April 2017, 60,000 is given. Bills payable on 1st April 2017 is given. Where we should write in the bills payable account, 60,000 we have to take. Next one, 
paid cash to creditors paid cash to creditors this means what we are paying the amount to the our creditors how much 3 lakh 70000 so this to uh, this is to be recorded in the total creditors account debit side then paid for bills payable 1 lakh bills payable 1 lakh so here see bills payable we have accepted to pay it isn't it so now we are going to pay we have paid it so we have to take in the bills payable account which say we have to take debit side cash account we have to take 1 lakh next one purchase return purchase return means what any default we are done in them so it should be taken into the total creditors account so it is to be recorded in the total creditors account credit side next one cash purchase cash purchase is how much given 3 lakh 20 thousand already they have asked to calculate total purchase now only you know cash purchase only you have to find out the credit purchase now credit on 31st march 2018 credit on 31st March 2018 how much given 50,000 this is nothing but the closing balance of total creditors then we have to take bills payable on 31st March 2018 this is also closing balance of uh, bills payable so we should take in uh, which side bills payable upon to balance carried out 80,000 now we can prepare bills payable account bills payable account now we can take the Illustration 15, book page number 20. First of all, we have to prepare bills payable account. We must take a debit credit, particular sum on, particular sum on, see, to cash. How much they have paid? 1 lakh. Then the closing balance, we take, take as a balance, we carry out 80,000. Next, we take the opening balance, buy balance, not 60,000. Then we calculate, uh, calculate uh, certain creditors from 180,000 minus 60,000 we get 120,000. So this is the balancing uh, figure accepted by them. Uh, they have to pay it. Okay. Uh, then next one we go, go to the total creditors. Total creditors we associate the farm we must uh, record. Uh, debit credit, particular sum on, particular sum on. The cash, how much they have given to the creditor is nothing but 3 lakh 70,000. How much they returned? 15,000. Bills payable account. Bills payable account, how much they, uh, where this figure is taken from? From bills payable account. From bills payable account, 1 lakh 20,000. Nothing but the balancing figure of bills payable account. Then the uh, closing balance we have, we have taken 50,000. Next to credit side we take buy balance product nothing but the opening. From this we calculate uh, credit budget. Uh, how, how much? 555,000 minus 75,000. So we get 480,000. So this is the credit purchase. This is the credit purchase. Already your sum uh, uh, cash purchase is given 3 lakh 20 thousand. Now we calculate total purchase. Total purchase is equal to cash purchase plus credit purchase. 3 lakh 20 thousand plus 4 lakh 80 thousand uh, equal to 8 lakh we get. So what they are asked to calculate total purchase. Total purchase how much? 8 lakh. Okay now we are going to learn illustration 6 book page number 21. A solution. Uh, okay, answer. Uh, this receivable account you have to write and uh, write debtor, creditor, particular amount, particular sum. Okay. Uh, we have already discussed the information. Okay. So, this receivable account uh, there is given opening and the closing. So, first we have to take two balance brought down as the opening. Opening balance, uh, bills receivable, that amount should be taken for balance carry. Uh, balance brought down. Okay, so uh, how, how, how much amount you have to take? 5000. Then come to the credit set. Uh, come to the credit set. Here we are taking by cash amount 14000. By cash amount 14000. This amount, which amount? The cash received from uh, cash received for bills receivable account. We are uh, taking the amount for the cash received for bills receivable. So that amount should be taken as 14000. Then by debtors account uh, 1200. 
Yeah, so this is what they have given bills, but that is dishonored. So that we have taken. Then last one, third one, by balance carried on. This is now which amount we are taking? Closing balance of bills receivable. So thousand. So two side we have to have what? How much? Uh, we have to balance two sides. Uh, Sixteen thousand two hundred. Then see here, uh, this side amount, uh, this side amount is uh, less because only we have the five thousand. So what we have to do? Uh, 16,200 minus this 500, we get what? 11,200. So that is the debt task. So it will specify why we are finding to find debt task. So main motive or the aim, we are what we are doing? Will specify account we are finding, finding we are to find debt task. Then second thing with the information of debt task, debt task we are going to prepare total debt task account. Total debt as account. Again, we have to write debit credit. Total debt as account. Particulars. Amount, particulars amount. So, here also we have to take the opening balance of debt as account. So, two balance brought down. Two balance brought down. We are taking 16,000. 16, then, bills receivable account. Bills receivable account already is designed. We have taken in the bills. Uh, Receivable account. So that amount is taken 1200. Then to come to this credit side, buy cash which is we have received for 1 lakh 30,000. So that amount should be returned. Then buy discount allowed account. How much 5500 we received from the customer? We given for the customer so 5500. Then balance. It may come or not, we don't know. But it is the last of us. So balance account 3500. Then we are taking the amount of bills receivable account. This amount is where we are taking bills receivable account. Okay, and then uh, at last we are writing by balance carried up. Nothing but we are taking the closing balance 55,000. Then we get 2,5200. Uh, so we, get, we are adding by balance and the bills receivable we get 61,200. So that, that amount should be derived from that. 2,5200 minus 61,200. So we get how much? 1,44,200. 44,000. Okay. So that is the credit save. That is the credit save. So this total debt is main motive why we are calculating to find the credit save. To find the credit save we are using the debt as code. Okay. So here next we have to calculate bills payable account. Bills payable account. We are ready to opt to pay the bills payable. Okay. So if we have the same procedure, debit credit, we should recall our format. Okay. So uh, then what we have to take first one to cash account. Which amount is taken? Payment against bills paid. Payment again, bills paid how much? 7,000. Then we are writing the closing balance. Here see bills receivable account, we should write debit side the closing balance carried out. Okay. Okay, now we are next going to prepare bills payable account. Debt or credit we have right uh, particulars amount, particular amount. Now we are taking to the debit, we have to take the bills paid amount. Uh, pay, that is nothing but the payment against bills paid. So we have to take cash account, cash account 7000. Then we have to take the closing balance in the debit side. Bills payable account we should take the uh, closing balance uh, uh, to the uh, debit side. So we have to write two balance carry down. Okay. Next one we are going to take uh, in the credit side by balance card down. It is nothing but the opening balance uh, balance amount 2000. Then we have to calculate. See here uh, two side we have the we have to equal two side. And this uh, side so 10,000, 10,000. So what is the amount here? Here we uh, have only 2000. So we have to uh, deduct from the 10,000 we get the 8,000. So this bills payable amount what insists us to calculate the salary creditors it is nothing but the uh, bills accepted to, the, to pay. So this balancing figure is the salary creditors. Okay, next we are going to uh, prepare total creditors account. So debit credit as usual particular sum amount, particular sum amount. Here we are going to take C to cash account. To cash for how much we are paying to the creditor, 70,000 in the form of cash. So you are, we are taking to, to cash account. Then see to discount received account. Uh, the bills discount account we are taking. So 3,500. Then bills payable 
account which we have accepted from the bills payable account. Uh, this amount we are going to take. Okay, so bills payable account uh, we are taking 8000. Then we have to write the closing balance carried out. Uh, closing balance to be carried in the debit side. So we are writing two balance carried out 28000. So uh, here we have to write the closing balance by balance brought out. By balance brought out opening balance. So you having 25000 only. So see here it says uh, uh, big air debit side. So we are taking, uh, we have uh, tallying the two side 1,9500. Then we are deducting 25000 from 1,9000 we get 84000. So this uh, total credit has main motive to find the credit purchase. How much they have purchased. So what is the uh, information given illustration system what they are asked to calculate. Bills pay receivable account, total debt as account, the bills payable account and total credit as account. Now we have find out. Now we are going to see uh, illustration 17. See here from the following details of Abdul who maintained incomplete records prepared trading and profit and loss account, uh, loss account for the year ended 31st March 2008 and balance sheet as on the day. See here, previous year we are calculating only bills receivable account, total debt as account, bills payable account and total credit as account. What they have asked, we have calculated. Now, because of uh, you know, lack of information, they are asked to prepare. Okay, now here we have to prepare total debt as account, then we have to calculate total credit as account, then only we have to Calculate trading and profit and last account, then we have to calculate balance sheet. I think you have studied in uh, 11th standard trading and profit, uh, profit and last account. So you may, you may recall the formula. Okay? Now we can uh, go through the uh, instruction. Particulars uh, see they are given in the opening and the ending. Start 1,50,000, uh, Saturday debt loss 2,50,000, 3,50,000, cash 25,000, 40,000. Furniture 10,000, 10,000, Sunday Predators 1,50,000, 1,75,000. Other details given. See, uh, this information also we should have. We have to take uh, not only the box but also we have to take this also. So, drawing how much given means 40,000. Drawing is nothing but what the uh, who run the business. They are, uh, he is taking for his personal values. Okay? So, it should be calculated. In the balance sheet, okay. So next one, see the bills. Sorry, a discount received twenty thousand. Discount allowed twenty five thousand. Cash paid to creditors four lakh fifty thousand. Cash received from debtors five lakh thirty five thousand. Cash salary expenses ten thousand. Capital as on one four two thousand eight seventy two lakh thirty five thousand. So see here in the opening capital how much we have two lakh thirty five thousand. Okay. From this uh, information, we have to calculate. Uh, total debt loss, total credit loss, trading uh, profit and loss account and the balance sheet. Now we are ready to calculate. First we have to write the total debt loss and debt loss account. Total debt loss account. Total debt loss account. Total debt loss account. So we have to write as the So we have to write as part of the account. 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 Now here we have to take two cash account. Two cash, two cash, two cash is nothing. 
already purchases. So in this uh, problem, they have asked to calculate total debtors, total creditors. Now we are going to prepare to uh, prepare trading profit and loss account. Okay. For whom we are going to prepare in the book of Abdul trading profit and loss account for the year ended. Okay. Now we are we have to just recall slightly the formula of uh, profit and loss account. Okay. So then we say what uh, what it comes to opening stock, nothing but the investment of stock then purchase. If you have any purchase, you have to write in the website. If you have the purchase, then means you have to lesson showing. Okay? Yeah. Then you have to write uh, by sales. Uh, if the, you have the sales, then you have to lesson uh, uh, show the amount. Then by closing stock. Closing stock, nothing but the year end stock. Okay? Yeah. So then uh, what is we are going to calculate? Uh, then to discount allow. Discount allow salary expenses. Then uh, the cost profit is brought down to the credit side by cost profit, then by discount receipt 20,000. Then we are calculating the net profit. Okay. So from the information, we are given the opening stock is 1 lakh. Opening stock is 1 lakh. Then purchases, it may be credit or uh, we are taking the credit purchase 4 lakh 95,000. We are taken from, from the total rate of from the total rental amount we have in the primary purchase. So that amount is here noted. Okay. Then we are writing the sales. We are writing the uh, sales. Sales also we have find out from the total debt of amount. From the total debt of amount. So that amount is written here. Then by closing stock. Okay. Now which side is greater? Credit, uh, credit side is greater. Where, so we have to deduct from 7 lakh 10,000 and uh, 7 lakh 10,000. 10,000, we have to less means we get the 1 lakh 15,000. 1 lakh 15,000. We are, this two amounts should be added. Which amount is the 1 lakh and 4 lakh 95,000. Uh, we deduct from 7 lakh 10,000 means we will be getting of this amount. Which amount? 1 lakh 15,000. So, next one, this is the balance figure. Okay? So, that amount is written, uh, written as what? Gross profit. So, gross profit carried out. Two gross profit carried out. So, this amount should be carried to, uh, to the credit side. So, by gross profit brought down. Okay? Now, we have written to discount allowed. From the information we are getting, so we write 25,000. Then, to Sunday expenses, we are having 30,000. Then, by discount receipt, 20,000. So total we get 1,35,000, 1,35,000. Then what we have to do in the deficit dismissal. Okay, so this two amount should be detected from the 1,35,000. Finally we get the 80,000. Okay, so this profit should be carried to the capital account. Which profit? Net profit should be carried to the capital account. Now we are going to prepare balance sheet. So balance sheet as on 31st March 2018. Here balance sheet what we have write uh, liability amount, asset amount. Okay. So now Sunday get uh, creditors, how much they are paying? 1 lakh 70,000. Capital, capital, then, uh, well, capital already given in the other information 2 lakh 35,000. And now we are taking the net profit from the profit and loss amount. How much? 80,000. So two, uh, two things are added. 2 lakh 35,000, 80,000, we get 3 lakh 15,000. Uh, then you have to detect the drawing. Other information they are giving the drawing. So you have to less the drawing. And then what you get? 2 lakh 75,000. 2 lakh 75,000. Then the, from the information you get, you are just entering the cash, furniture, stock, data. So two said what we are having? Two said equal of 4 lakh 50,000. 4 lakh 50,000. Okay, Barbie does not maintain her books of accounts under the WMD system. That means what? Uh, this uh, Barbie record was incomplete. Okay. From the following details, the trade in profit and last month for the year and the this March 2019 and balance sheet as on the day. Okay. Here, see, they are asked to calculate profit and last upon balance sheet. Okay. But we don't know the debt as amount, isn't it? So we have to calculate debt as with the help of cash book and other information given. Okay, with the help of cash book and the other information, we have to uh, uh, use the point, use the transaction. Okay, if you are given see cash book, then credit, uh, receipt amount, uh, payment amount, uh, amount given, two balance brought down 32,000. Two balance brought down 32,000. Okay, to sales. Sales account 1,60,000. Sales is given 
opening balance is given, the debt as is given 120,000. So it is a, to debt as account, the end appears total debt as account. Then see here, payment side by purchase 56,000, by credit as account 80,000, by general expenses 24,000, by wages account 10,000. This all come under this where general expenses, wages, purchase and the balance comes, trading and profit and last account. Okay, and then by balance carried on 142,000. Other information what the event, stock of goods, opening and ending event, debt as given. Here we have to calculate the end of, ending, nothing but the closing of debt as we have to calculate. For that only we are calculating total debt as account. Then credit as is given in the opening and closing, missionary is given. Then additional information also given, see credit purchases is 74,000, credit sales is 140,000, opening capital um, 2,22,000, depreciation missionary by 10%. Depreciation by missionary 10% means what? We have to calculate on the missionary 170,000 into 10 by 100 we will be having um, the depreciation amount. That amount should be deducted in the missionary in the balance sheet of asset side. Now we are going to see that in the book of borrowing, okay, total, total debt as amount. Illustration 18, book page number 25. In the book of Varaji, total debt as account. You see debt or credit or particular sum on particular sum on given. See two balance problem. This sum is the, we are taking from the other information. Uh, that is opening and closing even now. So we are taking from 38,000. And also we take sales of credit. 140,000 by cash which is received, uh, received from the debt as 120,000 by balance uh, carrier. Uh, this one we have to uh, tag uh, this two side 178,000, 178,000. Then what happened? We have to uh, deduct from 178,000 uh, minus 120,000. So we get 58,000. We get how much? 58,000. This is the closing uh, uh, balance. The balance carried out is 58,000. So that should be uh, carried to next month as a opening balance to balance problem 58,000. Okay. Next we are going to prepare in the book of Barney trading profit and loss amount for the year ended 31st March 2019. Uh, now we are going to calculate next trading and profit and loss amount for the year ended of 31st March 2019 for whom in the books of Barney. See here, uh, to open stock it is already given 40,000 uh, to purchase. To purchase we are having, see here we have cash purchase and uh, credit purchase. So that should be added. Added means we can get 130,000. Then to wages, wages are given, so 10,000 we should take. Then see here by sales, sales also we have cash sales and credit sales. So that two amount has to be added. That two amount to be added uh, 3 lakh. Then we are having the closing stock 60,000. Okay, now we have the uh, 3 lakh 60,000, 3 lakh 60,000. So the, uh, from the debit side we have the lesser, lesser amount. So 40,000 plus 1 lakh 30,000 plus 10,000 we get 1 lakh 8,000. So 1 lakh 8,000 should be uh, deducted from 3 lakh 60,000 uh, minus 1 lakh 8,000 we have 1 lakh 8,000. That is the gross profit. That is the gross profit we get it. Okay. So, this class of needs to be brought down to the credit side 180,000. So, next one we have to write general expenses. Uh, general expenses, uh, common expenses we are writing here. Then depreciation of missionary. Missionary, how we will be calculating? Uh, missionary amount how much? 170,000. 170,000 into 10 by 100. Already it is given. So, we get 70,000. Okay, so here, uh, so that amount should be added here. Then by having two side one lakh eighty thousand, we should deduct from one lakh eighty thousand. Then forty one thousand. Forty one thousand. How, how, how comes the general expenses and the, uh, depreciation of machinery? We take into account. So we get finally one lakh thirty nine thousand as a net profit. So this net profit, how much we get? One lakh thirty nine thousand. So this should be carried to the balance sheet. Balance sheet as on 31st March 2019, lying beside asset amount they are giving. So now we have the capital. Capital 2,22,000. 
and uh, from the trading account we are taking the net profit uh, here so we get 361000 credit us credit us we have 52000 okay now see here cash account 140000 it is already given stock of goods also debt us we have taken from the total debt us so this amount is 58000 missionary already i have told you how to calculate uh, 10 percentage of missionary uh, 170000 into 10 by 100 equal to 70,000. That should be less to some 1 lakh 70,000. We get 1 lakh 63,000. Finally, the ad is 4 lakh 30,000. We get it. So, each side it will be done. This is 19. Book page 26. Okay. Here, Arjun carries on grocery business and does not keep his books on double unit basis. The following particulars have been extracted from his book. What the instruction has given here? He didn't follow the double entry system. So some of the uh, uh, books which he, he has entered the transaction is given below. Okay, here plan and machinery for opening and closing is given. Opening and closing. Like my stock, sundry debtors, sundry debtors, cash and bank are given. Okay, then other information see here uh, for 31st March uh, showed here. Advertising, advertising um, 4,700 he spent. See here, uh, suppose they are having a uh, shop, uh, they have to advertise their uh, business so that they can have the publicity. Okay, for that, he, how much he has spent? 4,700. Okay, then carriage invert, 8,000. Cash paid to credit as 64,000. Drawings, 2,000. Drawings means what? For his personal use, he has withdrawn from his uh, investment. Okay, next one, see here. Total sales during the year was 85,000. How much he has uh, saved for the year? 85,000. Then, uh, already we have seen that his uh, uh, purchase returns during the year was uh, 2,000. Purchase returns during the year was 2,000. Okay. And uh, sales return, sales return was uh, 1,000. Okay. Before what he, how much he has uh, saved? 85,000. Now, uh, how much he has uh, uh, sales return? 1,000. So, you have to deduct 85,000 minus 1,000. Then depreciation plant and machinery 5, uh, 5 percentage. Uh, then you have to take the plant and machinery. The year ended means uh, 20,000. Two of the, uh, uh, for the beginning and the ending they are given the same amount. So no problem. So you have to take what? Uh, 20,000 into 5 by 100. You got the depreciation amount. Okay. Then you have to uh, take the uh, provision uh, provided 300 rupees 300 for double debts. Then you have to deduct from the debt as 300. Then with the information, with the above information, you have to prepare statement of profit and loss upon 31st March 2019 and your balance sheet as per the date. Okay. Here, uh, previous in that they have given the opening capital. Okay. Opening capital, closing capital given. Suppose the opening capital not given means what we have to prepare. We have to prepare the statement of affairs first. Then we have to create total credit loss account. Then only trading and profit and loss account and the balance sheet we have to prepare. Okay, now we are going to prepare first to calculate opening capital. We are going to prepare in the book of Arjun statement of affairs as on 1st April 2018. Okay, so here in the books of Arjun statement of affairs as on 1st April 2018. Okay, the last is assets. Okay, here credit loss amount given 5000. Cash and bank for the opening and closing they will be given. So you have to write for 1st April. So 4000 you have to take. Then stock also, salary debt as plan and machinery. Okay, so we have 35000. Here only we have only credit as amount only allowed. So we have to deny 35000 minus 5000 we have getting 10000. So this is the opening capital. This is the opening capital of the uh, uh, amount we get from the statement of affairs. Okay, now we pass to total credit as amount. Total credit as amount. Okay, so here as usual we have to write the format. Debit credit particular sum amount, particular sum amount. See here, how much they have paid cash? 64,000. Then purchase return, how much? 2,000. This all information are we are getting from the question. Then the, uh, we have to take the opening and the closing balance, uh, debit and credit. Okay, so by uh, we are having 70,000 each because by balance started we have only 5,000. So we deduct 70,000 minus 5,000 is 
Sir, we will get one credit uh, purchases. We got credit purchases. With the help of this, we are going to calculate profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2019. And now we are going to calculate trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2019. Here we are going to write debit credit. Particular sum, particular sum. See here, they have given over is how much? Uh, 9,000. See here, purchase. Now only we have calculated uh, credit purchase of 65,000. How much have we have? We get the uh, returns 2,000. So that should be deducted. So it, uh, you got 63,000. Then carriage in your It is the expenses. Okay. So you are taking here 8,000. Then see here, this side, uh, uh, credit side, we take buy sales. Uh, how much is they have say get sales? The information we get from the uh, question 85,000 uh, less than 10,000 so you got 84,000 close is start you get 64,000 so you have to uh, take 1 lakh 1 lakh minus uh, 9,000, 63,000, 8,000 uh, you got 20,000 ok so this uh, profit uh, this profit is carried to the uh, brought down to the by gross profit 20,000 then see to advertisement 4700 to depreciation of missionary 1000 Provision for barriers 300 uh, Net profit uh, you get from uh, 20,000 minus 4700 minus 1000 minus 300 you get the 14,000 as a, as a net profit So this net profit is carried to the balance sheet Net profit is carried to the balance sheet Balance sheet as on 31st March 2019. Okay. Here we are going to uh, calculate uh, how they balance uh, liabilities uh, like and asset. Okay. So here capture we get uh, 30,000 net profit. It is taken from the trading and profit and asset. Account. We get 14,000. Already he take uh, drawings for his personal use. So we uh, deduct from this amount 42,000. So submit uh, greatest we have 4,000. Cash and bag it is given and the uh, opening and uh, uh, closing uh, closing we have to take uh, the year ended that was uh, March uh, 2019 so you have to take year ended amount okay and then stop Sunday debt loss Sunday debt loss uh, already in the instruction they have given uh, 300 uh, previously we have 5300 5, so you must uh, lessen the amount and uh, show the 5000 then plan and missionary plan and missionary you have to they are given 1000 so that amount should be deducted and I get 90,000 if you total this two column they will be equal Okay, uh, now we are going to uh, learn illustration 20, book page number 28. Okay, here partner does not keep his books under the WM system, following uh, the information prepare uh, trading profit and loss account and balance sheet. Here also they have uh, insisted uh, to prepare profit and loss account and balance sheet. But we don't know the opening capital, so we have to find out the opening capital. Um, uh, see here, furniture for the beginning and the ending. Beginning is nothing but the uh, January and uh, December 12th it is given. Furniture 30,000, cash and uh, 10,000, debtors 40 and 60, stock 28, uh, 11,000, bills receivable 12,000, 35,100, bank loan 25,000, 25,000, credit 15,000, 16,000. Now see, some of the in uh, information is given. Cash is uh, 11,200, cash purchases 4,250, uh, carriage on uh, purchases 3,000, Commission received 600, drawings 8000, salaries 8900, credit saves 88800, credit purchases 33,070, carriage on sales 700, interest on bank loan 2500, additional capital 14000, office rent 2400. Some adjustment are given. See, right of depreciation 5 percentage furniture. So you have to take furniture 10,000 into 5 by 100. You got the amount. Then create the provision for 1, uh, one percentage on debtors. Then you have to take debtors. So you are going to take uh, for the year ending. So you have to take only 60,000. So with the help of this information, we are now going to prepare in the books of party and the statement of uh, affairs as on 1st January 2018. Liabilities asset side. Okay, here see credit loss we have 15,000, bank loan 25,000 as per the uh, opening and uh, ending uh, given amount. Then cash in hand we have 10,000, stock 28,000, debtors 40,000, bills received 12,000, furniture 30,000.
They should be all taken for the first January they are given that amount from that we have to take a drive. Then we get the 120,000. So we have to less than 15,000 and 25,000 we have to get. Uh, if we add this amount we get 40,000. So 120,000 minus 40,000 we get 80,000. The 80,000 is the opening capital. The 80,000 is the opening capital. Now we got the opening capital 80,000. So you have to now calculate trading and profit and loss amount for the year return. That was March 2018. Okay, now trading and profit and loss amount for the year return. That was December 2018. Debit credit. See here, first we have to uh, note down the opening stock 28,000 to purchase. Already we have cash purchase in the information 4,200. And credit purchase 35,700. Uh, that is 5,750. So you got 4,000. To carry your purchase, uh, 3,000. Then you have to take uh, credit side by sales, cash, credit we have added. Uh, two items you got 1 lakh. Then by closing stock you get 11,000. So 1 lakh 11,000 minus uh, 28,000, 40,000, uh, 3,000 means you got 40,000. Okay. So this graph of this carried, uh, carried out is uh, brought down here. Uh, Brought in here, so you get 40,000. Next, you see, to salary, to salary 8,900, carry on sales 700, office rent is all. Are you done? Next, please, sir. Please, ma'am, I'm going to pack up my hands. I'm going to get a button. Da da da. Ha, ma'am, in the two salaries, I'm going to get a button. Two salaries, I'm going to get a button. Two salaries, 8,900, to carry on sales 7,700, to office rent 2,400, interest on bank loan 2,500. Depreciation of furniture 1500. Provision. Uh, see here, depreciation of furniture. You have to calculate 10,000 into 5 by 100, you got 1500. 10,000 uh, 10, into 5 by 100, you got 1500. Then provision for uh, development is 600. It is taken. 60,000. 1 by 100. So you got 600 again. Then by commission received, how much 600 total you got? 4600. If you less the salary, salary, office rent, interest on bank, depreciation, provision, you less means you got 24,000. So this 24,000 is carried to the balancing to, to the capital side. Okay. Now see here capital, how much we have? 80,000. How much profit? Uh, net profit 24,000. Then how much uh, he introduced in, in between the year to develop the business is 14,000. So he got 1,18,000. Uh, 18, so how much he withdraw? 8,000. So he got 1,10,000. Bank on 25,000. Credit plus 16,000. See here, this is not a uh, uh, year and end. That was March. For that amount we have to take. So cash in 7,000. Stock 11,000. Debt plus 16,000. You have to less one percentage of provision for bad development is uh, that is one by uh, one percentage is how much is sixty thousand into one by hundred. So if how much you got? Uh, we give up to uh, to zero means you got six hundred. That is deducted from the debt So you got how much? Uh, Fifty nine thousand four hundred. Bills receivable how much we have having? Thirty thousand hundred. Furniture thirty thousand they uh, they have calculated five percentage uh, so. Uh, uh, 1500 so total you get 28500 finally we have how much means 151000 is said so that's all by this chapter this is the 5 marks sum